I am doing a month-long review of the Inito Fertility Monitor. This thing is awesome. Let me just show you what comes inside with it. So this one, we have the monitor, which when I take off my phone case, it attaches to the back and you're gonna put the strips in the side of it. The box comes with 15 of these strips. Hold on. So this is what the strip looks like. It comes with a cup, just cleaned mine. Um, it comes with a cup so you can like dip your pee into that and then you put it in there for 15 seconds. The app walks you through everything. Um, it even puts a little timer for you. And then once you're done, you would take this off, put the cap on, and this is what you would insert into the back of the monitor. Save this for tomorrow. So that's what it comes with. I just finished my period. So tomorrow, according to the calendar, I'm going to take another test. Okay, I just took my test the day after my period. Um, it says low fertility, but that's okay because, you know, you don't ovulate um, right after your period. It takes some time. So we'll continue to see how the next tests go and hopefully we'll find out when I'm ovulating. Okay, I've been doing the tests for a few times now. My levels are still just really low. My estrogen is the only thing that's like all over the place. All my other numbers are really low, which... For me, it's not surprising because we do know that I already have infertility issues, um, but I'm hoping that doing this, I'll be able to show it to my doctor um, because we're getting ready to do IVF in one of my next cycles. So now I'll have like a better idea of how long it takes me before I ovulate. If I do ovulate, I guess I should ovulate, um, but I know when we do IVF, they'll give me medications to induce that. I don't know it's just so cool seeing the levels even if it is a little frustrating that my body's not like working the way that I anticipated um it is cool to be able to see it and know um and then it's also helping because you know if we were trying this cycle which we're not um I would know like exactly when to do it and, and hopefully that will come Okay, I'm so excited. My levels finally started to move a little bit and we are officially in high fertility. We are finally at peak fertility and I am so happy. I was kind of worried that it like wasn't gonna come or something because um, I was in high fertility for like a couple days. Um, but I love that it differentiates between high and peak fertility and now we just have to wait for it to confirm my ovulation in a few days. So I still haven't confirmed ovulation yet. It's saying that it's like waiting for the progesterone to rise. Um, so I'm hoping that it comes in like the next day or so. My ovulation is finally confirmed, which I think is just like so cool. Um, I was worried that I wasn't gonna get like the rise in the PDG, but it finally happened. I just finished my last test for the month. We're back to low fertility. And this whole thing has been just like really cool to see it every day. I'm definitely going to order more tests because I want to do this again next month. To order more tests, you get to do it right in the app. And it was already telling me I was running out and I probably should have done it the other day, but I'm just going to do it now. Okay, now that you've seen me use the Anito for a full cycle and tracking all of my hormones, I want to talk more about why this one's different than other fertility monitors. So most ovulation tests that you get measure your estrogen and your LH. But what actually confirms your ovulation is your progesterone. Anito, I'm pretty sure, is the only fertility monitor that measures all four hormones. Your estrogen, your LH, your progesterone, and your FSH. They're also giving you the real numbers along with reference ranges, where regular ovulation kits usually just say yes or no. I have really irregular cycles, so for me this is even more important because I'm actually figuring out when I'm ovulating when peak ovulation is and then confirming that I ovulated. For me, it's not the same every month. It's all over the place. So what you'll see and what we saw through mine, um, your estrogen rises like three to four days before you ovulate. Your LH is supposed to surge 24 to 36 hours before ovulation. And then your progesterone rises after you've ovulated to confirm it. And then your FSH is what tracks your follicle growth. Another difference with basic ovulation tests is they usually only give you four fertile days where with a needle you get six. This is like having your own fertility lab on your phone. And I'm going through infertility right now. Um, 
we are going to be doing IVF and I've been able to show my doctors these and they thought it was awesome. It is just incredible that I can measure all four hormones in five minutes. Also, did I mention that this is HSA, FSA eligible? Because it is. Okay, I'm about to start my next month of testing. So I just wanted to say thank you for everyone coming along on this ride of doing a full month of testing to see how it went. I do have a discount code if you want one of these. I will put it here. And I will also put a link in the description of this video. Thanks again. And good luck to everyone who's on a fertility journey of their own.